relax, unwind, calm down, and remember, there is an undeniable truth about you, about me, about everyone in the world that is so rarely thought about. It can be very easy to forget it, but with my help, hopefully you can come to understand again, and that understanding will bring you peace, openness, willingness to simply be. Remember that you came from the earth. Every single part of you, your bones, your muscle, your hair, your heart, every atom and gene and molecule, it all came from the ground below, the sky above, recycled, pure, natural, that the same parts that make up the mountains and trees, rivers and crystals, and even the fabric that rubs against your skin, the ground that you walk upon, also makes up the entirety of your being. And that is beautiful. The same is ultimately true of your mind. And if you take a moment to feel that connection, sense those similarities, you might realize that your brain, the space inside your head and all of its capacity to think and act, comes from the same substance that makes up the fresh, loamy soil. Maybe. You are not too different from that soil yourself, deep and dark and rich, smelling of mineral intoxication. And the same way that a patch of soil can be turned over, churned up and revitalized to make use of its fertility, its ability to enhance and grow and produce, you and your mind are mud and clay, and earth, and soil, and with just a few simple seeds, you've managed to create a whole being. Every thought, every desire, every emotion springing up from within you and from that soil. Deeper and deeper into your psyche, taking hold of your mind and siphoning the energy and power to fuel their growth. Feel them. Feel the ones that are already established, that make you feel good and whole and right. They are cultivated and grow with roots stretching down, down deeper to the core of your being. All the little tendrils and creeping hairs expanding through you and inside of you. And they grow up and up and up towards the light and warmth. Broad leaves and blooming flowers, higher and higher above the ground. Lovingly cared for and carefully loved. But not every seed that takes up your mind's nutrients is good. Some of them just drain you, deplete you. Responsibility, stress, societal expectations, negative intrusions. They are weeds in the garden of your mind, blemishes on the perfect natural order that is you. So, if you'll let me, I'd like to just pluck them out, clear a space 
of your mind just for this experience where no weeds or vines or other plants may grow, tearing out those negativities up by the root, feel them bit by bit, free up space and energy for something new, something more, something beautiful. Just pluck, pluck, pluck until your mind is clear and free. My hands tossing through the soil, digging down deep to make you anew. Feel my fingers slip through the sediment of your psyche and leave it clean and clear. Right now, your mind is open plowed soil, endless potential, infinite possibilities. And instead of letting weeds overrun your mental garden, maybe you can let me plant some more productive crops, things that will grow to benefit you and flourish. My words are the seeds, my voice the water, your mind the soil, combining together to create something new and wonderful. All you need now is just a moment and some patience. Feel it. I know you did. Those roots and shoots taking hold, slowly digging deeper and rising upward, creeping down to the core of your psyche and all through your being. Focus on them. Feel them. Grow them. And let's explore what we've cultivated as they blossom and bloom. Let this seed take hold in your mind. Thick, strong roots that hold it fast against any winds. Tall, sturdy stem to hold this suggestion high in your mind beautiful flowers of gold and leaves of deepest green that bask in the warmth of trance and absorb its light. And as it grows, you can already feel the influence that has been fostered in it begin to flourish, like scent on the air, fruit thick and juicy on the vine just waiting to be harvested. Feel them, coursing through natural pathways that you are already familiar with, but that can be enhanced so much further. Taste them, sweet, delectable, natural. That is the taste of victory. There's something about this crop that just makes you want more of it. It's alluring, enticing. It lights up your mind with its influence. You already know how good success and excellence feels. The glowing pride of endorphins and the rush of adrenaline that comes when you execute something to perfection when your contributions are praised and acknowledged. Likewise, you know the weight of loss. You know the internal shame and degradation that comes when you haven't given it your all. You want to be a winner. 
Everyone does deep down, but for you, that feeling is sustained and heightened by this seed that has grown into something fuller and more pure than you have ever experienced. Success in life feeds your soul and you hunger for it, yearn to feel the weight of praise and a gold medal perched on your chest. You want, you need to be the MVP, most valuable player in all that you do. Competitive streak ramping up, never letting you give less than your best, always at 100%, 110, 120, to do better and be better than everyone else sends a thrill down your spine. A mix of superiority, skill, and pride that trickles through your psyche like sticky, delicious sap. You know what success looks like. You've known all along. True success and conformity to what will take you higher in the world. Mental, physical, social, well-being, and elevation unending. You don't merely want to get by. You can't stand the thought of just doing well. You need to be the best, the most valuable player. And you will not stop until you embody that standard of excellence. And you will not stop until you embody that standard of excellence. You're so tired of being down in the dirt with the rest. Distinguish yourself. Make a name for yourself. Be somebody. Be a winner. You want that trophy literal and metaphorical with your name on it to proclaim to the world that you have made it and have everyone agree. Because it feels so good to be a winner, to know and see that you are doing better than the average. The top 1% of people, clear and competitive in your drive to be the best, it feels right to watch those measures of success steadily creep upwards as you work to perfect yourself every day. You must be perfect because you deserve perfection. Flawless and superior, measurable in your results and your mindset because victory is euphoric. You want to win because it feels so fucking good, gets you so excited, makes your heart race and your eyes dilate, floods your system with pure pleasure. A rush of adrenaline and testosterone, the legacy of primal animal instinct and warrior training, you can't help it. It's natural, implanted from birth. Losers could never understand the pure bliss of victory, of watching your score grow larger, wearing your accolades proudly for all to see. Victory is pure and perfect and right, edging on erotic. That is what fuels your desire to win, to be MVP most valuable player, because you're always chasing that thrill of a gold medal, watching your results climb higher, optimizing your performance like the true beast you are, evolving, pushing yourself to claim first place no matter the cost, bigger salary, more promotions, better body, more success, you are a winner. You deserve only the best and more of it.
and you can never stop. The job is never done, always another second to be shaved off your personal best, always another point to be scored, always another person to beat or team to be on where you can use your skills to bring everyone victory. Where other people give up, that's where you start truly working. Where others see difficulty, you see an opportunity to carve out a new niche and prove yourself even more. Ask for that promotion, win that game, get the better job, ace that test, do whatever it takes to win. You are perfection personified, a winner, MVP, a warrior and a king. You can feel that urge ringing in your ears, the desire and hungering lust for victory hanging down this seed in your mind, roots extending outward to touch all of your desires. More. You want to be the best, need to be the best. Enough is never enough because you are always pushing the boundaries of that ecstasy of success. It feels like a glowing beam of sunlight captured by leaves, like sweet nectar dripping down your chin, like the smell of roses and the thrill of the hunt ramped up to a thousand. You can feel those roots extending, touching every desire, every personal ambition of yours, digging through the soil of your mind and uncovering all of those wants and goals, the ones that you daydream about, where you want your life to go, even the ones you only ever half entertained because you didn't believe in yourself enough. Your ultimate fantasy is within reach. Don't take no for an answer. It doesn't matter if people have denied your dreams in the past. It doesn't matter what they think. You do what you want. Show them what it means to be a winner. Work for your dreams and never let anyone tell you otherwise. You'll work for it so fucking hard that you will force the world to give you what you desire. Become a winner. And while you're working on your own dreams, working to mold reality to your desires, you must also excel at the game society has played for you. There's no reason you can't do both. Win the game and remake it. Live your dreams and everyone else's. You are a winner. The MVP. Most valuable player. You need to have it all. More money. More attention. More status and prestige and success. The perfect body. The perfect life by society's standards and yours. The euphoria and bliss of success. You need it, want it, get it, take it. Average is not an option. To settle is failure. You are not a loser. You are not a settler. You are not someone who will accept the bare minimum. So be a winner at every game you play. Life is your playground and your battlefield. So give it your all. Go above and beyond. Be the one person in every room and on every team that people unanimously agree is the most valuable player. And even when you fall short, as rare or as often as that may be, when you fumble the ball or feel the weight of your excellence weighing you down, that isn't a failure on your part because you never fail. You are a winner. You are MVP. Those moments are just the rising tension of a future 
victory, keeping you on the edge and lighting that fire inside your core, honing your focus to come back next time and crush the competition to dust. Enough is never enough. Always strive to be better, to climb to the next level and overcome the next obstacle, because no pleasure is greater than the joy of winning. No pain is greater than the shame of loss. Put aside your distractions and just fucking win. And once you begin to accumulate those medals and trophies, when you are given the praise of the masses for your performance, bask in it. Because you put in that work, and every reward you get for it is truly earned. Relish in the glow of your own achievements. The pride that comes from your own excellence and accomplishment can never be surpassed. Wear your medals on your chest with pride. Never shy away from it. Those are the fruit of this mental seed, placed and nurtured. And every victory scored, it grows a bit further. Every success you earn feeds into the pleasure it provides. A recursive loop more success means more pleasure, means you push harder, means more success. A glorious, glowing crop whose leaves of green shimmer in your mental breeze. No goal or want untouched by its roots. Harvest its fruit and let them sustain you. Let this seed flourish and grow victorious in the soil of your mind. This cultivated mental flora deserves the space dedicated to it in your mind, and it will always be with you, growing, flourishing, basking in the glowing light of your consciousness and every choice made in devotion to it. Be sure to love it carefully and care for it lovingly. As long as it flourishes and is sustained within your mental soil, it will continue to grow and feed you. Water it with my voice. Replenish it with my words, and let it bathe in the glorious sunlight of awakening, its stalks climbing up, 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 and up, until you are fully awake, aware, and feeling amazing.